Over time, even the fastest Mac can start to feel slow. Apps take longer to launch, the spinning beach ball shows up more often, and everyday tasks don't feel as smooth as they used to. The good news is, most of the time your Mac isn't broken. It just needs a bit of maintenance and a smarter setup. In this video, I'll walk you through practical steps to speed up your Mac, remove what's holding it back, and keep it running like new. The first thing to clear up is a myth. If you search online for how to speed up a Mac, you'll see ads for so-called cleaning apps or Mac optimizers. Don't waste your time or money. These apps promise miracles like cleaning junk files, removing viruses, or optimizing RAM. But macOS already manages memory, caches, and system tasks better than any third-party tool. At best, these apps do nothing. At worst, they add background processes that make your Mac even slower. The rule is simple. Don't install more stuff. Remove things instead. One of the most common causes of slowdown is too many background apps fighting for resources. Hold down Command and Tab to open the application switcher. You'll see every app that's currently running. On a newer Mac, having 20 apps open at once isn't a big deal. But on a 5-7 to seven year old machine, trimming that number down makes a big difference. Ask yourself, do you really need Slack, Photoshop, Zoom, Chrome, and three different Node apps open right now? Probably not. And don't forget the menu bar in the top right corner. Small icons like Dropbox, Adobe Creative Cloud, or Webcam Utilities often run silently in the background. If you don't need them, quit them. If you never use them, uninstall. Here's another sneaky slowdown. Apps that launch automatically every time you start your Mac. Go to System Settings, then Users and Groups, and open Login Items. You'll see a list of apps and helpers that start up whether you want them or not. Some are useful, like iCloud or Bluetooth services, but others, such as old printer utilities or cloud services you no longer use, just sit there taking up memory. Remove what you don't recognize or don't need. And remember, it's better to fully uninstall the app than just hide it from startup. Now let's find the real energy vampires. Open Activity Monitor found in Applications under Utilities. Sort the list by CPU usage and watch it for a few minutes. The apps that keep jumping to the top are the ones slowing you down. Typical culprits include Chrome with dozens of tabs open, outdated background agents from old software, and cloud sync services that never stop checking files. If you spot something you installed but don't really use, uninstall it. Your Mac will thank you. A lot of people are afraid to update macOS because they think newer versions slow down older machines. In reality, Apple usually builds optimizations into updates. If your Mac supports the new system, it means it was designed to run on your hardware. So update whenever you can. You'll often see faster performance, improved security, and fewer bugs. For many users, the browser is the number one reason the Mac feels slow. If you keep 50 tabs open in Chrome, don't be surprised if the fans start spinning and everything begins to lag. Bookmark pages instead of leaving them open, or use a tab manager that suspends inactive tabs. Better yet, try Safari for everyday browsing. It's optimized for Mac OS and much lighter on both battery and CPU. Keep Chrome only for websites that absolutely require it. And don't forget to check your extensions. Some add-ons run constantly in the background, injecting scripts into every page. Disable or uninstall the ones you don't really use. Do you have iCloud Drive, Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, and maybe Box all running at once? That's five different sync engines constantly scanning your files and uploading changes. On an older Mac, that's a recipe for slowdown. Stick to one or two cloud services at most. If you need others for work, pause them when you're not actively using them. Here's a fun fact. Every single file on your desktop has to be rendered as a live preview. If you've got 200 screenshots scattered across the screen, your Mac is constantly refreshing those thumbnails. The fix is simple. Treat your desktop like a temporary workspace. Move files into folders inside documents or downloads. In Finder, switch to List View or Column View instead of Icon View, 
and turn off file previews for videos. That alone can make Finder feel much snappier. This one surprises people. Shutting down your Mac every night prevents it from running background and maintenance tasks like re-indexing Spotlight or clearing temporary files. Instead, let it sleep. Close your MacBook lid or choose Sleep from the Apple menu. Your Mac will take care of itself overnight and you'll wake up to smoother performance. Performance drops when your drive is almost full. Mac OS needs free space for virtual memory and caches. Go to Apple menu, then About This Mac, and open Storage. If you're above 90% full, it's time to clean house. Delete large files, uninstall unused apps, or move archives to an external drive. If storage is always a struggle, make a note, your next Mac should have a much larger SSD. If you're on an older Mac with a spinning hard drive, it may simply be wearing out. Boot into recovery mode by holding Command and R at startup, then run Disk Utility and choose First Aid. This can fix minor errors, but if problems keep coming back, it may be time for a replacement SSD, or realistically, a new Mac. When things feel off but you can't pinpoint why, try the resets. Safe mode, restart while holding shift. SMC reset, the system management controller. NVRAM reset, restores low-level settings. Apple provides step-by-step -step guides for each Mac model. These resets can clear out strange glitches that build up over time. Sometimes the issue isn't your Mac at all, it's your internet connection. If web browsing feels slow, restart your router. If it's more than five to seven years old, call your provider and ask for a newer model. Also check your plan. Many providers keep customers on outdated, expensive, low-speed packages unless you specifically ask for an upgrade. If you've tried everything and your Mac still crawls, don't just live with it. Book a Genius Bar appointment or visit an Apple authorized service provider. Experts can often identify the issue in minutes, whether it's a failing drive, bad RAM, or just old hardware struggling with modern apps. Sometimes they'll fix it right away. Other times, the honest answer is that it's time to upgrade. And remember, Macs aren't immortal. Today's machines are handling tasks that were unimaginable 10 years ago editing 4K video, managing terabytes of photos, or loading web apps as complex as desktop software. At some point, upgrading is the only realistic path. Here are a few lesser known fixes that can make a real difference. Rebuild Spotlight. In system settings under Siri and Spotlight, you can force a re-index if search feels slow. Rebuild Apple Mail. If the Mail app is sluggish, use the Rebuild option on your mailboxes. Check Battery Health. On MacBooks, a poor battery can cause the system to throttle performance. Remove widgets and extensions. Extra Safari plugins, Finder add-ons, or notification widgets all consume resources. Restart occasionally. If your Mac has been on for weeks, a simple restart clears memory leaks and temporary files. Keeping your Mac fast and reliable comes down to a few simple habits. Close the apps you don't need, manage what runs in the background, and always keep your system updated. Make sure your drive has enough free space, let your Mac sleep so it can take care of itself, and take time to clear out the clutter. With these small steps, your Mac will stay smooth, responsive, and ready for the work or creativity you throw at it. If you found these tips helpful, don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you won't miss the next video.